Good morning, my friends, and hello from the brand new Conrad Orlando Hotel located inside of the beautiful Evermore Resort. A lot of you have been telling me, Dev, you gotta come here and check it out. I'm so happy that I decided to come, especially today because it's so beautiful outside. This place is already absolutely stunning. My goodness, do you see this lagoon back here? Wow! This resort offers such a unique way to vacation. And other than the amazing amenities, one of the best perks of staying here, it is pretty dang close to Walt Disney World. It only takes 16 minutes from here to the Magic Kingdom, and this resort offers included shuttle transportation to the parks. Also, this resort offers over 70 vacation homes that you can rent. You can also find flats, and they offer hotel rooms as well. Now, Part of this resort just opened about two months ago. This resort isn't fully opened just yet, so there are some things that are still under construction, but the entire Evermore Resort is expected to fully open sometime in March 2024. Today, I'm going to be giving you a full detailed tour of this resort, and there's a lot that we have to get to, so let's not waste any more time. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. There's still a ton of construction going on. Look at these homes. How pretty. All right, and here I am at the very front of the hotel. This is where you will pull in and valet your car, drop your bags off. Now, at the time of recording, this hotel does not offer self-parking. They only offer valet, which is $50 a day. I know that is expensive, but keep in mind, this is Hilton's version of Four Seasons. So Conrad Hotels are on par with the Four Seasons. So this is just full of luxury. And as you can already see, this place is just absolutely beautiful. That's the main entrance. And over here on my left, you can find the Conrad Spa. We'll go have a look in here in just a little bit. And once you valet your car, they offer you a bottle of Aquapana. Look at that. And some towels. Very nice. I am now inside of the hotel. It smells so incredibly good in here. It still smells brand new. This is the waiting area. And then over this way, this is the check-in area. This is the second level, it looks like. So there is a first floor down here with more restaurants and this is how you will get outside. I am also loving the architecture of this hotel. Everything is just stunning. I mean, I really don't think video is doing this place justice. If you did not know, the Conrad Orlando is owned by Hilton. So if you are a Hilton Honors member like myself, you can use your points to stay here, which is awesome. I just spoke with the general manager of the Conrad Orlando. I had a lovely conversation with him. I learned some fun facts and something that I learned about the shuttle transportation. They run every single hour. So you can expect a shuttle service on the hour throughout the day. And if you stay here at the Conrad Orlando and you're taking the shuttle over to Walt Disney World, you're not just stuck with going over to the Ticket and Transportation Center like most other hotels that offer included shuttle transportation. This shuttle transportation will take you to all four Walt Disney World theme parks. That is such a huge perk. Now I did ask, do you plan on offering transportation to Universal Orlando? Unfortunately, they are not, but I mean, you're still very close to Universal. You're about 20 minutes away from Universal. Oh, and the shuttle service here at the Conrad Orlando is a luxury motor coach. So I believe it's something very similar to what the Four Seasons offers with their shuttle transportation. Let's continue on with our full tour. I am now heading over to the Conrad Spa. I am inside of the spa now. It smells even better in here. Look how beautiful. This is the front where you will check in. 
have all kinds of items for purchase, future products. Man, I'm speechless. I have robes. Over here you can find a recovery zone. So if you've had a long day at the parks, you can come here and receive some treatment which I really like. After you check in, you will come downstairs into the lounge where you can hang out before or after your treatment. Very nice. Over here, they have some fruit water. This looks delicious. They have hot water for tea. They have some books for you to read. And then out this way is the garden. Also on this side of the stairs, you can find the locker rooms. I'm back walking through the main lobby here. And the first place we're checking out is the Little Spoon. And this is a grab and go location. So you can find candy, chips, cookies. Ooh, what's this, beef jerky? And then over this way, you can find the beverages. They have all kinds of stuff. Juices, kombucha. Wow. This is where you will place your order and pay. They have pastries, breakfast sandwiches, coffee. Here's a quick look at the menu. You can find breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. Okay. They have fresh gelato, yum. Salads to go, fresh fruit. What's this? Some chia seeds, a chia parfait. Beer and wine. They have Moet. And then once you pay and get your food, they have a really comfortable seating area over here with a view of the lagoon. Oh yeah, check it out. I am now downstairs where you can find most of the restaurants here. First up, we have Sofia's, which is Southern Coastal Italian. Here are the hours of operation. Breakfast from 7 a.m. until 11, lunch 12 until 2.30 p.m., and dinner from 5 p.m. until 10 o'clock p.m. You can find an open kitchen, which is very nice. How beautiful. I love the windows. It just continues to get better and better. And you can also sit outside if you would like. I am now here at Apparel, which is a Mediterranean bar. There we go. I'm learning this as we go here. They have drinks and appetizers. They have some TVs here where you can watch the big game. More seating over in this direction. I bet this looks so elegant at nighttime once the sun goes down. I love this up here. I think yeah, this is gorgeous. very nice. I am now back outside. This was the Mediterranean lounge right here. I mean, these views are just stunning. We have the Papaya Club right over here, which is a Polynesian restaurant. It's kind of like a tiki bar. And then we have the rooftop bar right here. This is not open just yet. It's going to open sometime in March, but the roof is retractable. And then we have the Mexican restaurant right there. And fun fact, if you time it just right, you can see the Epcot fireworks from the top here. And right over here was Sophia's. We're just going to make a lap around and see what we can find. I'm going to head over to the Papaya Club to have a closer look. I just learned that if you have a balcony, you will have a Sonny the Bunny little statue on your balcony. You guys see all of the orange bunnies? How neat is that? Right here, you can find the Arrival Departure Lounge, which is so nice to have. This is such a premium feature to have at your hotel because if you arrive here and your room is not ready yet, but if you've had a long flight, you need a shower, you need to relax, 
this is the place for you. Or if you check out and need to kill some time, you can come hang out in here and again, take a shower. There's a locker room, places to hang out, charge your phones. This is so nice to have. I can't tell you how many times I've traveled and I've gotten to my hotel and my room was not ready yet. This would have came in very handy. And next door, you can find a kids club. This is what the kids club looks like. This is so nice and premium to have at your hotel. This is open daily from 8 a.m. until 4.30 and then on Fridays and Saturdays from 6.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. I just learned eventually they will have baby gators in this tank and then over here this is where you will check in they also have restrooms of course is that sunny the bunny there's also a little outdoor area for the kiddos to hang out in and this is for ages 5 till 12 years old this is very educational based i just learned a few things when you stay here there is a 50 dollar daily resort fee it includes your wi-fi a one hour kayak rental a one hour paddleboard rental two bottled water bottles daily disney theme park shuttle a 20 dollars off golf club rentals and 10 percent off apparel and merchandise at grand cypress and 20 percent off spa treatments also if you are a local you can make a dining reservation at either saba or sophia's and your valet is comped so you don't have to pay 50 dollars for valet when you come here for a dinner reservation something to keep in mind all right i am now walking over to the papaya club and again this is a polynesian <laughs> restaurant but it's kind of like a tiki bar Look at that view. I'm now inside of the Papaya Club. It's very tropical. You're outdoors, but you are covered. You have a nice breeze. If you want to sit out in the sun, you can. If you want, you can sit here at the bar. This is what it looks like. What comes to mind is I feel like I'm in the Caribbean or like the Bahamas, specifically Bimini, but I'm here in Central Florida, right down the road from Walt Disney World. Fun fact, Paul McGee helped design this bar and helped create some of the drinks that are on the menu. Two ounces of our alcohol batch mix with some pineapple rum and a artisanal mezcal. Ounce and a half of our fresh coconut syrup we make in-house. Half ounce of our banana liqueur. Half ounce of your cinnamon syrup. Wow. One dash of Angostura bitters. One ounce of some fresh lime juice. Put a little bit of crushed ice action. A nice little pour. And we're gonna top up a little more crushed ice. A straw, nice fresh mint. We have a nice flower. We have ourselves some pineapple fonds. The last of it, a nice umbrella. You know, haka colada. This is from Jonathan, one of the awesome bartenders here at the Papaya Club. Let's give it a try. Whoa. Let me tell you, when you have fresh ingredients, inside of your adult beverage it really does make a difference and it's made with this rum that's infused with pineapple and you can really taste it you taste the mint it has like a little bit of a punch at the end as well but all around that is a very delicious tropical beverage to have as you're sitting here at the papaya club with this breathtaking view here's a quick look at the rest of their signature cocktail menu I told you guys, it's a little tiki bar. And I love tiki bars. There needs to be more of them. That Mai Tai looks really good. I'm not going to go through all of them because there's a lot that you can order here. You have so many options. And they do offer zero proof drinks as well juices and tea and then of course you can order food look at this menu there's so many unique options that you normally don't see 
on menus at your hotel. Here's some more options. Your big bites, and then desserts, banana pudding, an ice cream sandwich. Ooh, a white chocolate passion fruit creme brulee. And then of course, my personal favorite, a Florida key lime pie. I loved my time here at the Papaya Club. I can't wait to come back here and just chill throughout the day. This is going to be the spot at this place. And then at nighttime, they will turn on the fire pit here. There's a few of them. And again, <laughs> you just have views for days. As we're getting close to the beachfront, here's a closer look at Evermore Bay. Eight acres this lagoon is. How many gallons did you say? 17 million. 17 million, which is equivalent to a thousand swimming pools. Swimming pools. And this is eight feet deep across and then over all the way down. I mean, you guys see that? Let me zoom in. This lagoon is massive. Again, video is not doing this justice at all. That goes 12 feet deep where you can paddleboard over there. Wow. Let's see, let's give it the test. Is it cold? Yeah, it's not heated. It's not heated. It is not heated. It actually feels pretty good. It's a colder day here in Central Florida, but you have zero entry right here. Have little places to sit with towels. Do you have like servers that will come out mm -hmm. to bring you food and drinks? From papaya. From papaya, even better. So you can sip on those tropical cocktails from Papaya Club here beachside. So is this considered a lagoon view if you stay in these rooms? So if you stay in one of these rooms while the lagoon is going to be in the back, this is going to be called a pool view. Okay. So if you want to save a little bit of money and still get a decent view, pool view. And then behind that you have a nature view. And then of course the premium rooms offer that special lagoon view. This is exclusive for Conrad Guest. This is the Conrad Pool. Again, you have to be staying at the Conrad Orlando to enjoy this area. I mean, how beautiful. Again, you have zero entry, plenty of lounge chairs. You have a few cabanas over here that you can rent for an upcharge. I like these lounge chairs right here. Perfect for couples. Oh, look at these chairs that are inside of the water. That would be perfect for sun tanning. And then here's a closer look at the cabanas here. Two lounge chairs with a table. Looks like you have a really big TV, a refrigerator that comes stocked, I'm sure. Some privacy, you have a fan, a nice couch right here, a big table. We can see Saba a lot better here. And again, this is the Mexican restaurant that's located on the roof right there on the corner. I just can't get over the architecture of this hotel. I really do not feel like I'm in Central Florida. I feel like I'm in the Caribbean islands. I really do. This Evermore Resort in the Conrad Orlando is really something special. And this was much needed here in the greater Orlando area. They do have restrooms out here, a water fountain. And then here's the splash pad area for the kiddos. And then they do have a few more cabanas that you can rent over here as well. They have cornhole that you can play, a few cool places to sit. And again, there's sand all over the place, which is perfect for the kiddos. You can rent this space out right here. And this is the little guy. And then they have a bigger venue right over here called the... This is Leonia Lawn. Leonia Lawn. So this is the bigger venue right here. And then all right here are the meeting spaces. It's also very windy outside today. <laughs> Look at this sand sculpture here at the front. Now this will change. Right now it's themed to the Pro Bowl because the Pro Bowl was here last weekend. This is cool. I love seeing things like this. And there's the NFL logo right over there. That's pretty much all of Conrad Orlando. I had to walk with somebody the entire time because again, this hotel is just so new and it's still 
under construction, but I was able to learn a lot. Conrad Orlando, thank you so much for everything. I cannot wait for my upcoming stay. But now I wanna talk a little bit more about the villas that you can rent. You can also rent huge vacation homes that go up to 11 rooms. The villas only go up to four rooms, but they offer flats on the other side of the lagoon that will go up to five bedrooms. So no matter how big your family or your party is, there's room for you here at the Evermore Resort. And then of course, if you just wanna stay in a hotel room, Conrad Orlando is for you. And then I also wanted to mention the lagoon here, you can be staying at either Conrad Orlando or Evermore Resort, so you have access to the lagoon no matter where you're staying. But if you're staying here at the Conrad Orlando, you will have access to both the lagoon and the exclusive pool that I just showed you guys a little bit ago. Okay, so that's the Conrad Hotel. You have the flats right over here, but I'm towards the left-hand side of the hotel, and these are the villas. And these were left here from the Grand Cypress, but Evermore just came in and redone them all. So they're nice. Again, these go up to four bedrooms here. Regarding the vacation home rentals, those are the huge houses that we saw coming into the resort once we went through the security checkpoint. How I understand this is it's like an Airbnb, but what Evermore Resort wanted to do was the thing with like Airbnbs, let's just say if I have an Airbnb and you have an Airbnb, let's just say my Airbnb is great, your Airbnb is, you know, trashy, has bad reviews. Evermore wanted to kind of take that out of the picture because they want all of their vacation homes to be exactly the same. So there's one owner. You can buy them, of course, but you have to rent them out as vacation homes. I guess Evermore will be exclusively in charge of each vacation home because, again, they just want to keep everything the same. I don't blame them because from everything I've seen today, this place is just absolutely stunning. And it's just crazy to think that we have something like this here in Central Florida, right next to Walt Disney World. It's very weird because I feel like I'm in the Caribbean right now, but I'm not. You can find some swings along the walkway here in front of the villas. The bay hours are from 7.30 a.m. until 6 o'clock p.m. Bay may close without notice. There's a fire pit right over here. They have stairs to enter the lagoon have these cool little starfish chairs here. You can find a life vest, which are included. And there's restrooms right here. I don't think this lagoon will ever be this empty again because this place is not fully open just yet. But I can only imagine during the summer when it's really busy and really hot, this place is going to be jam Hat. and this place absolutely deserves it i'm now going to start making my way over here to the boathouse and then the spot over here where you can rent your kayaks and paddle boards and things like that and then we'll start walking over to the flats on the other side of the lagoon here i wanted to give you a brief overview of the evermore bay map we are right here in front of the villas, and if you stay at the villas, you have your own pool and fitness center. And then we have the North Dock right here. There's the Conrad Orlando, so that's right behind me. And then we have the flats. And down here we have the boathouse where I'm heading to now. You have watercraft rental. There's a boathouse lawn where a event was happening as I walked by it when I was arriving here because I parked right over here and then that's the landing so there's a food hall in there guest services a fitness center and all of this is owned by evermore the only thing that's owned by conrad is of course the conrad hotel but everything else is evermore across from the villas here you can find even more cabanas and what's really neat about these specific cabanas there's a ledge over the water here and there will be lifeguards on duty 
and then I wanted to give you a closer look at the ledge here. Looks like it's a hammock over the water. They have a big slide back in this direction. The slide is not open just yet. It will open later this month. And then they have a jacuzzi back here as well. They do have villas that are lagoon side, but if you want to save a little bit of money, they do have other villas away from the lagoon. There's currently out of service signs around this portion, but the pool hours are from sunrise until 7 p.m. Here's a better look, and then we can see the slide a lot better as well. That looks real fun. I can already picture us enjoying our day here at Evermore Resort inside of this lounger that's covered. Looks like an onion. And then they have hammocks over here that look like onions as well. And here I am at the landing. You can find some outdoor games. The golf course is just right over here. There's an outdoor bar and there's some quick service restaurants in here as well. And then they have a patio upstairs. This is what it looks like inside. There's plenty of tables. You can order burgers from the Kraft Burger Stand. You have Props Pizza. You can order pizza. They have a wrap place over here that's called That's a Wrap. And then back in this direction, they have a market where you can buy merchandise and things like that. They have a coffee bar right there. And then there's a bar that's inside over here. Here's a look at the hours. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is the coffee shop here. They have some pastries. Some bagels here. Everything looks so good. And then this is the market where you can find groceries and things like that. They have their own water cans here. Beer and wine. Looks like they have some local beer, which is nice to see. Some sorbet and ice cream, bags of ice, milk, yogurt. You can find pretty much everything in here from all of your grocery items because if you stay in the vacation homes, the villas or the flats, you do have a full kitchen. They have wines to choose from. I mean, they have everything. Mixers, lines, diapers, sunglasses, medicine, tea, pasta, ketchup, and just some emergency things. And then they have some merchandise over here. I like this hat. A shot glass candle, a few candles. They have their own corksicle. Here's some clothing to choose from. They have candy, some grab and go options. They have a Caesar salad, all kinds of different salads. Fruit, wraps, and an egg salad sandwich. At the register, they have a s'mores kit for sale. Interesting, if you are a reader, they do have some books for you to rent. It says, take me, read me, return me. They have Frankenstein, The Great Gatsby, Harry Potter. On the left-hand side of the landing, this is where you can find the locker rooms and lockers available to rent. And then this is where you can also pick up some extra towels. And then that's the golf course right back here with some of the vacation homes. This is the boathouse. This is where you will come if you would like to rent any paddle boards or canoes. They have you covered here. And again, if you are staying at the Conrad Orlando, you have one hour included. Ooh, I wonder once the entire resort opens up if they will run boats around the lagoon here. Because you can swim pretty much anywhere, but it is cut off in certain areas like right here where nobody can really swim in. So I could see them running boats out here, maybe like for a private event or some kind of upcharge, take you out here and enjoy the scenery. Over here, they do offer sand wheelchairs. And then there's the private event I was talking about a little while ago. That is beautiful. I 
I came up a floor. This is the boathouse on my right. This is a private event space that you can rent out. And then you can walk across this bridge here. And this is the actual boathouse restaurant. There is a private event happening right now, so I can't take you inside, but how beautiful. And finally, we have the flats. And again, these go up to five bedrooms. These are brand new. These are gorgeous. I would love to stay here in a flat. Ooh, they have a beach bar here right outside of the flats. That's nice, hello. So this is really awesome. If you're having a beach day, you need a drink, you need a bite to eat, you have this option right here. I mean, there's chairs and lounge chairs all over the place here around the lagoon. There's also quite a few fire pits that you can find. There's a volleyball court right over here. I think that's pretty much it here around Evermore Bay. I cannot wait to stay here. It's happening very, very soon. Stay tuned. I wanted to show you one last view of the golf course and then you have the vacation homes over in this direction. They do offer shuttles that will pick you up and take you all around the Evermore Resort. There's one of the shuttles right there. All right, my friends, that's going to do it for today's video. I am so in love with this place. I can't wait for my stay at the Conrad Orlando, but I really want to plan a vacation to stay in either the flats, probably the flats because they look spectacular, or the villas, and then once the vacation homes open up because the vacation homes are still under construction. You just have so many options here. Again, you're in a really good location. You have shuttle transportation to get you to and from Walt Disney World, and then if you rent your own vehicle, you have the option to drive out to Universal Orlando and SeaWorld Orlando, and it's just located in a very nice, quiet area very close to Walt Disney World. And this place comes with some fantastic amenities. Everybody has been so kind and friendly here. I mean, I can't imagine what this place is going to look like here in a few months once the hot summer months and the busy summer months get here because this place just offers so much. I just can't wait to come back and show you my entire experience. I do want to say a big thank you to the team here at Conrad Orlando for walking me around and allowing me to film this because it's so new and just this place is awesome i can't tell you how awesome this place is and video definitely did not do this place any justice you have to come here and see this lagoon with your own eyes because it's breathtaking it really is and then the conrad offers some really good restaurants and bars and then you have some bars and quick service places over here at the landing it's very windy but let me know down in the comments below do you have plans to stay here at either evermore or conrad orlando are you going to make plans to stay here after seeing this video let me know down in the comments thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways i love you guys so much please remember it's nice to be nice on youtube i'll see you in the next video i'm out